plan to stop doomsday asteroid Bennu. NASA scrambles to track block thousands of potentially deadly asteroids, one of them being Bennu. This is on Sputnik News. Scientists at NASA have recently turned attention towards the dangers of near-Earth objects, NEOs, such as asteroids, devising a number of ways to detect and prevent collisions with Earth, which could be cataclysmic. Of course, we don't always get to see all the asteroids, one of them the Chelyabinsk over Russia. The meteorite was never even anticipated, and it came in. Anyway, much of what is Earth's neighborhood in, in neighborhood is unknown. For example, scientists are currently grappling with the question of how to track all of the estimated 25,000 big asteroids, the big ones whipping around our solar system and posing a potential threat to humanity. Asteroids, it should be remembered, are basically small planets orbiting the sun and range in size from hundreds of miles to just a few feet long. About 17,000 large near-Earth asteroids remain undetected by scientists. An object qualifies as near-Earth if it comes within 30 miles of Earth's orbit. Lindsay Johnson, planetary defense officer at NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C., said that the overall population of NEOs is almost incomprehensibly large. There are likely tens of millions of such space rocks between 33 feet and 65 feet in diameter. Tens of millions. Asteroids that can still be devastating, can be small. One such meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, as we said, in 2013, smashing thousands of windows and injuring 1,200 people. That one was only 62 feet wide and it was not seen coming in. Now we have asteroid Bennu as well, over 500 meter diameter. NASA's top scientists have calculated the deep space asteroid could slam into planet Earth in a little while on September 25th, 2135. That's why they're rushing to implement uh, an asteroid redirect mission in order to track Bennu and move it out of place in order to save Earth. But uh, it's the big ones that pose the most potential for my mass destruction, and there's an estimated 25,000 of them, one of them being Bennu. The 1,500-foot uh, asteroid Bennu, the most dangerous asteroid on the planetary science watch list from what they've seen so far. There may be others that they have not yet tracked Bennu is expected to closely approach Earth, but not impact it, in 2135. NASA sent a spacecraft called OSIRIS-REx to size up the object in case of a real crisis. If it were to strike Earth, the force of this collision would be equal to 80,000 uranium gun-type bombs, the kind of atomic bomb that was used on Hiroshima in August 1945. Now, Congress tasked NASA with spotting 90% of all NEOs bigger than 460 feet by 2020. And as you can understand, that is huge. Even a small one can make a very bad catastrophe on Earth. But these are huge, 460 feet in a year. Currently, only a third of such objects are being tracked by the agency. To track more of these potentially dangerous flying objects, NASA would need a dedicated space telescope for such a mission. As such a project, the Near Earth or Object Camera NEOCAM is already in development but has yet to receive the full funding it requires. Hopefully it will get the funding immediately. But preventing a scenario like that in the film Armageddon means that we'd have to be able to do more than just detect an object that's going to collide with our planet we'd have to knock the massive rock off course. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART for short, is scheduled to launch in 2020 and is scheduled to do just that. DART is exceedingly simple in terms of how it's designed to deflect asteroids. It has little more than thrusters, a camera and some navigation tools. 
not for avoiding asteroids, but for hitting them. Its quote-unquote kinetic impact could be enough to divert an asteroid off of its collision course. It works basically as a dart, hence the name. NASA also plans to test a gravity tractor technique. In that situation, they would fly the probe alongside the asteroid, using gravitational force to nudge it off course. DART will be tested in the early 2020s on Didymos B, which is just 525 feet long, but travel, travels through Earth's neighborhood at 3.7 miles every second. Asteroid collisions are rare events, Johnson said, but they're also an event that if we don't find this population can happen any day on us. Should an asteroid be detected at the 11th hour, scientists could always nuke it out of orbit. Quote, in principle, instead of an impactor, one can use a nuclear device. The effectiveness of the method in general will increase. It will not use a kinetic impact, but a nuclear explosion, which is much more effective. And quote, Director General at the Center of Planetary Protection, Anatoly Zaitsev, previously said. Meanwhile, Asteroids are not the only objects around Earth that could pose a threat to human life. Scientists around the world are trying to come up with a way to clean up the 16.5 million pounds of space junk around our planet, which, like the asteroids, travel extremely fast and could devastate whatever they impact. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.